South Delhi's Hoss Khas village. The accused, a, a resident of Chandra Vihar, was identified late last night, uh, said the police. These teams have been working on different leads based on CCTV footage and local intelligence and also by questioning uh, parking attendants in the area, private security guards of uh, the Deer Park and other shopkeepers in the Hoss Khas village locality. In fact, two days after, this 24-year-old uh, student from Nagaland was allegedly raped. As we said, one accused has been detained uh, and has been identified as Raja, a sketch of uh, the suspect prepared by the police based on the victim's description helped identify him. His friend was identified through CCTV footage from inside the restaurant. We have arrested an accused, whose name is Journal. General Alias Raja, son of Ramnivas, he is a 20 year old, uh, he is a, a kind of vagabond, uh, school dropout. He was arrested in the past, he was the iPhone that he had snatched and he was recovered in the past 400 In our country, we use only women's security and women's atrocity. Uh, as a tool to grab power. When it comes to UP, the Prime Minister speaks volumes about rape and security of women there just to garner votes. As far as Nirbhaya Fund is concerned, even that lies unused. And the Supreme Court has rebuked Modi government for not using uh, Nirbhaya Fund to ensure security to women. That itself shows how insensitive we are to women issues and atrocity and rape issues. This reminds us of Nirbhaya, you know, when there was uh, a complete storm all over the country about the question of safety of women and girls. Uh, thereafter, we have seen several such rape cases happening in and around Delhi. And I think uh, the governments, all the governments and all the relevant people uh, must uh, have a very serious uh, relook at the whole situation and enhance the security measures. Uh, uh, as far as protection of women is concerned and also uh, law must come heavily on those who uh, dare to commit such offenses. Police must be very alert. Police has the duty to protect the women. Another thing, every time I say now I am thinking of doing this, educate the boys. Just learn to listen to, learn to listen to no of a lady. And you have to believe that a no means a no. So we have to educate the boys and we have to go for a workshop so that some of the boys at least, they turn into the straight manner. And four days after a Malayalam actor was allegedly molested by her driver and a few others, the Kerala police still have no clue about three of the seven accused Four of the suspects have been nabbed, but the three still remain on the loose. And there's widespread anger and protests against what happened to a very prominent person. Yes, there should be a regulation. And I think that Vishakar's directives that became translated into the sexual harassment at workplace has now become an act. There should be a committee somewhere which can be kind of function as a regulatory authority. And they can, the women can go, uh, whoever the youngsters or whoever is molested, they do have the courage to go and complain somewhere, but they don't know where. And so this authority or regulation in the form of any committee or a complaint uh, authority is required. And it should be made aware to all the women that this is the place where you can go, because most of them don't even know where this is constituted, that you please go and complain there. They are not aware of this. This young actress, People did to keep her captive, molest her and make videos and take photographs. There has to be an inquiry and anyone and everyone who is behind this entire molestation and abduction case has to be unearthed and punished severely. And we want the government to be more sensitive. The ministers who make statements to be more sensitive and law and order should prevail in Kerala and the government should ensure that women are safe in Kerala. 
Moreover, like every industry, the film industry should have a code of conduct. Like the press has it, the Bar Association of India has it, you know, Judges Collegium has it. I feel it is high time if the film industry wants to be treated as an industry. They have often talked about having the same benefits of funding from banks. Then they have to, uh, they have to submit to a certain code of conduct which has to govern them. And there has to be remedial measures that have to be given to actors who are humiliated like this. Unfortunately, till date, Nirbhaya hasn't got justice. And that is why perhaps all these criminals, they have the audacity and the guts to actually commit the crime repeatedly because they know uh, they, they, nothing is going to happen to them. They will be scot free and the kind of tardy justice system that we have in this country. I think all these so-called rapists and criminals, they, they, they are on a high which uh, needs to be, I think, taken up very seriously by the judiciary in this country because I feel that uh, it is more or less the tardy judicial system which is responsible for what is happening in this country. This horrifying incident that a film actress was kept, made captive and was molested for too long hours, since this communist government has come up in Kerala, their ministers are making statements that it is a sole case of molestation of any actress, but what answer they have to the n number of cases of rape and gang rape and molestation of women in Kerala. This has been happening and we have been saying that this is happening, we are not safe, there is a lot of attack happening, there is a lot of violence happening, but nobody was listening to us. But when a celebrity is attacked now, they are taking us seriously, that is the only difference. We, ca we can't sit at home, we will travel, we will travel day and night. Whatever may happen, we will travel, we have to. So no nothing going to happen and you know we will win. Whatever may happen, we will travel, we have to. So no, nothing going to happen and you know we will win, whatever may happen. We are very powerful, we don't fear such, you know, such things. Even a three-year-old kid got raped two days back. I mean, this is something which we cannot tolerate, we cannot tolerate. It's time to react and tell people, even if he's a good person, he's a bad person doesn't matter tell them don't do such things be open to your kids be open to your friends be open to your relatives don't do such 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 things are happening around us don't do that yourself or you don't prevent your friends from doing such things